Hi Godspeed, this channel is against the Big Bang and the against the current view of astronomy. So I discovered the Big Bang is false, the expansion is false and things like this. But in I didn't want to uh, take on guys like the Gil uh, Tyson or something. But in this process, I want to break down some scientific idols okay what travels at the speed of light light does yeah okay i was about to say light <laughs> so if photons had a clock the clock would never tick nice which means when i go to a mountaintop as i did in graduate school to observe the center of the milky way galaxy for stars that emitted their light 30,000 years ago, traveling through the gaps of interstellar space, and they move through space, come through Earth's atmosphere, they come down into the telescope, they reflect, go back to my detector, and land on my CCD chip. That photon, when it was born, at the star that emitted it, was detected at my telescope in the same instant. So it is wrong. He is wrong. He is wrong. He says that the light has no time somehow. But it is crazy and wrong scientifically. And I put to you these things from NASA uh, to understand. Since 1958, NASA has relied on radio wave technology to talk with missions in space. Today, we're developing a better way to get spacecraft data back to Earth. That's where the Laser Communications Relay Demonstration, or LCRD, comes in. Built and managed by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, LCRD will send and receive near-infrared laser beams to and from Earth. As NASA's first long-duration test of optical communications technology, the mission aims to perfect space and ground-based technologies. They say that they make communication lasers. Lasers is light, okay? So he does not understand what light is. I made a video that he does not understand gravity. He talks about already dark gravity, but he speaks many wrong things, okay? I'm seeing like <clears throat> tea signs. This is a mint tea and a green tea. So how you can make a, a transmission through lasers? Because you can modulate the laser. If you transmit, you must have a code, a modulation in the frequency. This code can be a, a, uh, cap captivate can be and and re recoded through some piece but what this means that has that that transmission has time in it the the photon in the lasers has time in it the pure photon has time in it in itself so in it is a frequency how it cannot change how it, it cannot it is trigonometrical, you see? The light, it is. Wow. According to the photon itself. Mm. Live fast, die hard. <laughs> the, the photon has no knowledge, no knowledge of that trip. Right. Because time did not exist for it. Trigonometrical in three, 360 degrees angle, all the calories. That is how it are obtained on this but this demonstrates that they do not know. They speak like children's stories. I heard this many times from many people. So I'm telling you, I wanted to, to, to tell you that the Big Bang is false. But if nobody listens to me, I, I'm telling you that in this process, I becoming a YouTuber to destroy all the false signs that exist. So light, it is not like a pure photon, like it has time. It is uh, in in it. Art has a time. So how how it is not from his point of view came into the earth without time? How? Oh, 
That's great. And I'm saddened that many of these photons like hit people tanning on the beach, you know? And and to ha- imagine traveling 30,000 years and land on someone's buttocks. Yep, when very you sad. Come, and with, with, with the telescopes I collected, I'm now decoding the nature of the universe. Not And some photons go right on by Earth and are keep, still moving. Mm-hmm. But they have no internal time clock. So why lasers? Laser communications can transmit up to 100 times more data per second than previous systems by using a shorter wavelength of energy. With this increased bandwidth, missions can send larger files and even live high-definition video from space. Laser communication systems are smaller and more efficient than radio wave technology. But, but, but if you listen carefully this, I put you a second time this. What travels at the speed of light? Light does. Yeah. Okay. I, I was about to say light. <laughs> so if photons had a clock, the clock would never tick. Nice. Which means when I go to a mountaintop, as I did in graduate school, to observe the center of the Milky Way galaxy for stars that emitted their light 30,000 years ago, traveling through the gaps of interstellar space, and they move through space, come through Earth's atmosphere, they come down into the telescope, they reflect, go back to my detector, and land on my CCD chip. That photon, when it was born, at the star that emitted it, was detected at my telescope in the same instant. This will contradict the the Doppler. If the light will come unchanged, and by the way, it comes unchanged, the Doppler is false. It will contradict the Doppler. If they they will have any reasoning in their heads. They, so the Doppler says that light changes. And so just the idea that light can move across the universe and have no uh, and not age. This is a, a fascinating fact to me. No. So these imbeciles, even from NASA, do not understand that if they modulate a laser beam, the laser beam will not uh, have a Doppler shift. And they are all imbeciles, okay? So I'm telling you that the expansion of the universe is, is false. The galaxies are only stars. Our galaxy has one day with the speed of light. Believe me or not, I will laugh all this entire earth. But you have a frequency, a package, if you must to transmit through a laser beam. The internet proceeds in the same way. And this converts the light like trigonometrically, three pixels. So that the, it is a, in a frequency, the time. And the time is a modulation <clears throat> that you can control. The time is in the object, like a Lego piece with a quantity, it is in the object. This is one of the meanings of relativity of times. So this is everything I wanted to tell you in this video. I'm contradicting even these children's stories of this kind of popular scientist. I only wanted to take on the Big Bang, but if nobody listens to me, I, I, I want to transform myself in a YouTuber that demolishes all the idols of science, of today's science. I made another video on Tyson and maybe I, I will make another one. So I'm telling like science at T, uh, my vlog, scientific vlog, uh, mint and green tea. Goodbye, God bless.